everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today, there's going to be a pair of wide receivers looking to make big plays on the field. It's the Bills going up against the Colts. Now we'll head down to Jim Nance and Phil Sim for this Week 5 matchup. We're under the lights here on Monday night, just moments away from kickoff here on EA Sports. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims, and we are live here for this primetime matchup. There's all kinds of energy and excitement in the air. These teams get really fired up taking center stage on a night like this. Well, you said it right, taking center stage. Today's professional athletes, we know, we talk to all these players all the time. They love it when they're on stage, and everybody is looking at them. Well, let me tell you this. We are looking tonight. This should be fun to watch. The Colts are back deep, waiting for the kick return. The Bills setting up here for the kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. And here's a quarterback coming onto the field who has plenty of experience under his belt. Yep, there's no doubt. He is the man in charge, and, and he shows it just the way he handles himself. Uh, and that's why he plays so well. That's why he's in this game today. First down on the way. Offense lines up here. The give. Taken down at the 21. Here's a look at the Colts offense. They are the top-ranked passing offense in the NFL this season. Offense lines up here. Second and eight. Here's the handoff out of the strong arm. Between plays, let's take a look at how the Bills defense. This is a defensive unit that does not allow much at all. This is a very proud, hungry, and angry defensive unit. Third down and seven. Down the field, very nearly intercepted. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time, they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop of the defense. And so now, they'll call on anger to punt the football. a young quarterback about to head onto the field for the first time today. Uh, you know, Jim, this guy, he's, he's starting to inch his way up into that elite status, and, and he keeps playing solid football. So if he goes out here today and, and plays a good, solid game again today, we're going we're gonna to start talking about him differently here in the future. First down here. Let's go! Let's go! We'll go ground. The 33-yard line. When a coach can have a run and picks up those kind of yards, it gives them confidence, and they will show more and more patience with the running game. So the defense, they better dig in here. The Bills come out at a two tight end set. First down and ten. Out to the left, reaches out and snatches it. Tackle made by Hayden. That time the quarterback throws the drag route. It doesn't get a first down, but still, it's a good decision by him. A receiver in the slot. The Bills will take the snap from the 40. He'll keep it on the play fake. Catches the ball on the sideline, but does not get both feet down. Here's the Bills' offense. They rank towards the middle of the pack in passing offense this season. Third down now. Here we go. Takes it out of the eye. 
still powering ahead. Running room. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so if you keep crowding that line of scrimmage, look out, they'll throw it over the top. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play picks up about five here's how the Colts defensive lineup their strength right up front their ability to stop the run currently in the top 10 in the league And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. On, let's go. Let's Out of the shotgun. It shows all kinds of awareness here as he picks up the first down. Well, this is good confidence for the offense, isn't it? To move down the field early in the game and get inside the 20. Let's see if they have a play up the sleeve that can get them in the end zone. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Screen. With two hands, he has it. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down and 13. What a catch. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. The Bills line up now for the point after. Driving extra point is good. The Colts are ready to return the kick. He had nowhere to go, and they deck him at the 16-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. It's Bernard in the backfield. Play fake. Throws to the right. Wide open for the catch. Anytime you have a play action pass as a quarterback, make sure you sell that fake and then look up, find that coverage, decide where to throw the football. That was a nice job that time. The Colts were heartbroken last week, and they've set themselves up for another repeat feeling here today. Jim, this is what the NFL is all about. There are a lot of tight games, so when you get in situations like this, you can't crack under the pressure. The Colts' offensive line is just whooping some tail today, aren't they? What a job up front. That helps the running back get in space, get down there, and pick up a big game. The Colts snap it at the 41 to the ground, taken down at the 39. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. Coming up, second down. It's Bernard in the backfield. Halfway through this first quarter now, and that's a two-yard game. Bernard's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. After that last run, it sets up third and six. They come out in the dime package. Takes it from the gun. Trying 
to escape the pressure, and there he goes, sliding to get away from the hit. This will be a field goal attempt from 49 yards out. There is a flag out. They face first down. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. He'll run it here. Running to the right. Tackles made. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. From the gun. He was looking short, but the pass falls incomplete. Nice job that time by the defense. <coughs> Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. Offense lines up here. Third and seven. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. First down at the 15. The defense gets the set. Time the quarterback didn't hold the football. The left side of the line just they just collapsed. He doesn't even feel it or see it, and he goes down for the sack. The Colts take it from the 23. Throwing now to his left. Catch made. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback. Hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. From the shotgun. Did not get both feet down. Chip shot here. here on the field goal drive. Well, it's a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. scrimmage first down dropping back three he's got the catch brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker the Bills coaching staff has done a good job of mixing things up today on first down run and pass that time the pass catches the defense off guard they pick up solid yards now it's second and short the defense comes out of the dime Second down, two to go. Looks to his left. Makes the reception. Gains 11. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down. Jim, that's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. Nickel formation for the defense here. Now first and ten. They'll go ground. Now slashing to the right side looking for room. Game's about three. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. After running it, it's second down. Goodwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. 
will send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Risky throw in the double coverage there, but this will go incomplete. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Here we go. One, Third and seven. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving. And he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. for error here with the offense. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. And off out of the eye as he moves across the first down yardage and a new set of downs. When you backed up, there's just so few plays that you feel comfortable running. That time, nice job by the play caller. Gave the offense a chance and they picked up a big first down. First and ten. Hand off made. Out to the right, and Bernard is brought down. Safeties down the NFL have to cover like a corner, and they got to tackle like a linebacker. And that time, the safety came up, and he tackled like a linebacker and stopped that outside run. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Second and nine. Here's Rudolph. There's no doubt, time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, catch it just like this. Mm -hmm. I think somebody's trying to tell you something. And that will close out the first quarter <laughs> in Orchard Park, New York. We'll return in just a moment. First down, offense, Reading. I will will you into the UAE. The Bills sat at the line. Dime package. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. The Bills with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Second down and seven. He's going to get another carry. That little crease. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. We've got a player down, so we'll step aside and be back in just a moment. First down here after the run. Here they come back to the line after the 50-yard gainer on the previous play. Bell's going to take the handoff now. Bell's trying to be patient. But there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. They'll take the snap from inside the red zone. A week ago, they had a lot of success inside the 20. Second down and nine. Bell's taking the handoff. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football and the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Third down on the way. The defense comes out of the nickel. And he's thrown to the ground. When you put on third down, you hope to get to the quarterback. Here's why. Because there are less defensive backs back there. The chances of giving up the big play are pretty high. But the rush, they're quick enough. They get there and they sack the QB. The kick is through for three. Yeah, that was a good job that time by the defense. They were bending. They did not break. And all they did was give up a field goal. Charging ahead. And the tackle's made. 
The offense will start their drive from about the 31. The Bills now ready to take over as their offense heads onto the field. Wide receivers are bunched up. The Bills snap it at the 31. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. That'll be second and four after the running play. They're setting up screen. Got the completion. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards. Gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. Nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but try to protect yourself because you're going down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Second and 13. He makes the catch. And now will be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Good job that time by the quarterback. Found the open guy. Picked up some solid yards with that pass. Third and short. Now this opens up everything on the offensive side. Wide go. receivers stacked up on this play. Quick drop back. And he's forced to the ground. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. position it's Bernard in the backfield they send the tight end in motion draw and Bernard is brought down well anytime you're talking about a successful run in the NFL the running back is going to be a big part of that breaking tackles but this time it was just the vision of the running back he picked the right hole and picked up some nice yards second down and five here's the handoff and no run it Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. As we've seen today, this is a team that's dedicated to the run, and it's paid off with some very good stats on the ground. Well, it shows you what the coach thinks. He believes in running the football, and when you believe in it, what happens to your football team, they become tough. And they have shown that toughness here today. That's why they have such a good ground game goal. So now they'll call on Anger to punt the football. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Very lucky that time on that punt return. The coverage was outstanding, and the returner's just lucky he didn't fumble the football. The Bills come to the line with an empty backfield. From the shotgun. Makes the reception. And game maybe four. When the defense is going to play safe and they don't want you to run by them, you've got to be able to throw these out routes where the receiver's cutting towards the sideline and the quarterback stick it in there. Nickel formation here for the defense. Has his man. Touchdown, Buffalo. Even on short passes, accuracy is a big, big deal. When you put it on them right in stride, look what happens. They catch it in stride. 
They don't slow down, of course, and good things happen. Nice touchdown run. The Bills with an extra point try on the way. And the extra point is good. The Bills will take their spot on the bench after contributing to the cause, especially via the passing game, over 60 yards by the air. The Colts are ready to return the kick. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. The Colts are ready to take over now, and their offense heads on to the field. They come out in the dime package. First down and 10. Gets the handle here. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down here after that run play. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. They'll go shotgun here. And picks up maybe three or four. The Colts doing their part to spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium. Third and nine. Wants to go deep. They bring him down and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. There's going to be an injury timeout here. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. We'll head back to the field now after the injury timeout. Danielle Bellini is getting us the update on exactly what happened down there. come to the line starting this drive at the 28 coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time throws the pass the hit knocks the ball out incomplete well they always say if you get your hands on the football you got to make the kids yeah right the guy that need hit rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football nice hit by the defender Goodwin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. The Bills take it from the 28. Handoff brought down at the 32. Third down following the run. The Colts come out in a dime package. Makes the catch. Good piece of tackling. And Phil, you look at this offense right now. They've got a quarterback who's moving the football through the air. And that's a big reason why they're leading this game. That's right. That's why they're leading the game. Boy, I'd hate to be a defensive back out there today. The wide receivers are good. The quarterback is hot. They've got awesome rhythm. And that's why they're playing so well. Here's the handoff. And at the 49, he'll be brought down. And we knew, talking with both teams, how much the running game would be a focus today, and for good reason. Here's a running back doing tremendous things out there, as he has all year long. I think that's what's really incredible, isn't it? Both teams do exactly what they wanted to do. The offense says, we want to run it. The defense says, we got to stop it. And how about the offense, once again, overpowering the defense? And Hayden's in on the tackle. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than the incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion, and he pick up a yard or two. Halftime is coming up, but first we reach the two-minute warning. Now, looking at third down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He's tackled down after picking up the first. 
Good job by the offensive line there on third and short. Even though the defense knew it was probably going to be a run, still able to get in there and barely get that first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The Bills lined up. Everybody split out wide. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Almost intercepted. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. The Bills come to the line of scrimmage and empty out the backfield. Everyone split out wide. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Breaks out of the tackle. Catch made. And he's going to be tackled right around the 35-yard line. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked go. for a third time. Drop back, shotgun formation. Pass hits the ground and goes incomplete on the short throw. Good job by the linebacker. Just watching the quarterback read his eyes. He made the move at the right time, and he knocked the pass down. The offense back out on the field here for this fourth and short play. Offense lines up here. The Bills will take the snap from the 35. Tackle made by Hayden. The Bills are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. This drive now about to reach the 10th play of the series. This long drive continues. Here we go. First down at the 27. And it's thrown incomplete. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. Second down coming up. Mounting a serious drive. Here we go. Grand 38. Grand 38. Ohio. Out of the gun. He has the grab. He stacked up at that point. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. This will be the offense's 12th play of the drive. The long drive continues. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Play after play after play here on this drive. Second and goal from the four. He'll throw it over the middle. Touchdown, Buffalo Bills. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps when the receiver got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough catch. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. He made it. The Colts cannot come up with any answers here before halftime. And now they await the kickoff. Perhaps they can put some points on the board before the intermission. The scores, 21 to 6. Normally not so when this comes over. And they have him covered up and bring him down inside of the 15. The Colts ready to take over the football. One more snap, and we'll head to halftime. Takes the knee. It's now second down. The first half is over, and we'll be back with our first half analysis in just a moment. We welcome you in now 
for the EA Sports Halftime Report presented by Verizon. Now let's take a look back at the first half. The Bills are happy to be in front right now and just want to play two more solid quarters. The Colts just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. So let's take a look at the highlights from the first half. Midway through the first quarter, quick pass is complete, and that's a house call. They strike first in the half. Colts with the ball early in the second. Bernard's going to stay inside after the handoff. He'll pick up more than 40 yards on the play. Bills on offense midway through the second. The pass will be caught over the middle. This will go all the way for a touchdown. The Bills go up by eight. Bills with the ball late in the half. Middle of the field, the pass will be caught. And they cap off a four-minute drive with the score. The lead grows to 15. So we'll wrap things up here and go back under the lights where Jim Nance and Phil Sims have the call. made inside the 15. First down coming up. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Play fake. Catch made. You'd love to see somebody bounce back after not being a factor last week. We're seeing a wide receiver who knows how to get right back into it. Yeah, he was eager to get back out on the field again this week, Jim. He's anxious to go out there and do well, and so far today, he has been awesome. Two tight ends on the field here. First down at the 34. Bill Markham at the 40. Looking again now at some of these throws. There's just a lot to like about this offense when it's clicking like this. I love what the offense has done. I love what the quarterback has done. And you hear it all the time too, Jim, that you can't stop the perfect throw, but there have been a lot of perfect throws in this game. Here we go. The Bills will take the snap from the 40. The give right side. They take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you define yourself as a running team, which this team does, then it's no surprise to see them continue to make plays on the ground, Phil. You can't be good at everything. And this team, their bread and butter, what is it? It's running the football. So they determined before the season, we are going to be a running football team. They worked at it, and here they are doing it again. On the money, he's taken down at the 35. player is down on the field and the training staff comes out and we'll step aside for just a moment and welcome back Danielle Bellini is working on getting us an update on the injury as we return to action they're back at the line after that catch for a first down coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time and the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Offense lines up here. From the gun. Goodwin got it on a pick. Buffalo in for the score. No lead is ever safe. So when you got the lead, you push it on in there, score another touchdown, and keep putting the pressure on your opponent. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. And the point after is good. The Colts will now be in an even deeper hole here as they get ready to return the kick. Scores 28 to 6. Bills ready to boot this one down the field. Fields the football at the three. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Colts now will start their drive at the 23. 
Nickel formation for the defense here. They'll go ground. They bring him to the turf. In his defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped their run just for a short game. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. To the ground, and a run right up the middle. They'll mark him at the 28. Third down here, offense trying to pick up the first. The Colts are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. Snap it out of the gun, trying to work that left side. That'll pick up the first, and finally, the offense comes through in the clutch on third down. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. Offense lines up here. They'll run it here. And he is tackled at the 44. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap. And they hold that run to a short game. The Colts have it at the 44. High net left side. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. This quarterback is one of the best game managers in the league. He never forces the issue. That time, nobody opened deep down the field. He gets the short completion, and now he has a third and manageable situation to deal with. Third down and one. Finally, a third down conversion. Getting another look at these stats. Here's a team trailing, but has been able to run the football. Of course, that becomes less of a strength here as they need to put up points in a hurry. I think you're, you're right. When you need points like this, and you've been running the football so well, try to deceive the defense. A little play action pass should give you a chance to get a wide receiver open deep down the field. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Second down and seven. They'll go down <laughs> middle, and they are in on Bell. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Two here after the run. Right back to him once more. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. When it's third and short, the defensive line, you got to guess. You got to think it's going to be a run play. I don't know what they were thinking. They let the offense just push them back, and they give up the first down. Good job by the Let's offense, though. The Colts snap it up at the 26. Down the field, incomplete. Second down here. What a drive this has been. Hand off made. Bernard off the left side. Well, they call you an outside linebacker for a reason. That means you play outside and you stop the wide runs by the offense, and he did it that time. Good job. Makes the tackle. This has been a long drive so far. The Colts snap it at the 26. And he's taken down. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. This will be a 54-yard field goal attempt. The kick, and it's through there. The kick is good. We see it more and more. Long field goals by these kickers in this league now. They are strong. And they can kick it from a long way out. Stays on his feet. And he's across the 10, and that's about it. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. We've got a player down, so we'll step aside and be back in just a moment. They come to the line, and it's first down. Let's 
double tight end formation. Here's the handoff and no run. And this will end up as a two-yard long. Second down following the run. Goodwin's lined up in the slot. Set up screen. Has his target. Beautiful touch pass that time by the quarterback. He dropped it right in there. And this is a pass that every quarterback must have in his arsenal in the NFL. Coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He'll take the snap from the gun. Heaving it down the field, but they can't connect. If you're gonna miss a deep throw down the field, miss it long. That time the quarterback has the receiver open, but he overthrows it. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Bills official. He confirmed that it is an ankle injury. However, guys, not much more is known at this time, and the team is keeping quiet. In addition, the staff will confirm an exact timeline for his return right now, guys, but he will be dealing with this injury for at least a couple weeks. In on the stop. The Colts get ready to start their drive. Offense lines up here. First down at the 41. The defense gets a sack. There's nothing worse to a quarterback than have an offensive lineman getting driven back in his way. That time the right side of the line collapses and it leads to a sack of the QB. The Colts have it at the 34. Gets the handle here. Had to stop the play right there. Look at the rushing totals for both sides. Neither defense has had much luck slowing down the run. Well, it's not about luck. It's about trying hard. It's about one two, and I do not see that from the defensive side. That's why the offenses are having so much success running the football here today. Out of the shotgun formation. Caught up the football. Oh, they caught up the football, and the defense takes possession. Ball's on the ground. They recover their own fumble. Give me a break. And he's brought to the ground. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. First down here. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. Hand off. Hands straight ahead. Bell. And they are in on Bell. The running game has been going in opposite directions for these teams today, Phil. But it's still a tight game. Yeah, Jim, simple on the offensive side. Do whatever you have to do to make it work. If you're running it well, stay with it. On the other side, you got to find ways to deceive the defense. Change up if you do that. Your chances of success, they go way up. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Third and two. Here's the handoff. He's tackled at the 30. And it fires the football team up. The defense, third and short. They stop the run. Keeps the offense short of the first down. And look at the excitement on the defensive side. Wants to give it a go here. That brings the play to an end. The Bills getting ready now to start their drive. Goodwin in the slot. First and ten. The tackle was made. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They got a big lead. 
It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art that this team is good at. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Offense lines up here. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. The final quarter begins with this snap. They get to him just in time. One yard shy of the first down. The Colts are behind right now. And you see the numbers are giving up a lot of yardage on the ground. And it stands out because it's so out of character for this unit. The tempo of this game is being set by the offensive side. The way they are running. They got all the situations in their favor. And the defense can't get them in those obvious passing situations. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Looking ahead, the Bills will be playing at home next week while the Colts will also be playing at home next week. First down here after the run. They hand it off to him again. That picks up seven. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Go run it. Here's the handoff. Got the first, and he's got some space. He's in for the score. <laughs> now you know why running backs get drafted high. Because these long running plays for touchdowns, that's what you want. That's what the NFL is about. Making big plays, and when you get them in the running game, that's like double good. The Bills now will tack on the extra point. Inside of the upright. The Colts are ready to return the kick. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. down on the way the Colts with an empty backfield look here from the gun looking across the middle under fire on that throw well your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this anytime you're on that field as an athlete and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time how about that just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch not able to get it what a job of him. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Thrown incomplete. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are. Or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. Third and ten. <laughs> throw to the left. The reception. Easy, wide open. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do is just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. Gets it out for the completion. Can't find space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. The Bills lead right now, but of course, a big reason why is that defense has shown up to play. Jim, to win in the NFL, you have to do all three phases of the game the right way. Offense, special teams, and that defense must show up every single week. Good job so far here today. There's going to be an injury timeout here. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. The defense comes out of the dime. 
Out of the shotgun. It's wide open. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. Now first and ten. Nice tackle. Here we have second down. It's Bernard in the backfield. Takes it from the gun. Finds his mark. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. First and ten. The give. Taking it up the middle. And they are in on Bell. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Bell's got him on the handle. And that'll gain just a few yards. This is some side where you have the lead, the team's driving against you, all something different. So you can come up with a big play and stop the offense. Marching down the field and taking their time. From the gun. Looking to the right side and throwing. He's brought down. Well, it's been a terrible day for this football team. There's no doubt about it. You're down near the goal line, but you are getting blown out. Well, if you can score a touchdown, at least there'll be one good thing you could say happens. First and goal from the five. Browns there that time for the tackle. Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. This long drive continues. Second and goal from the five. The defense gets the set. How about the defense on that play? They were not fooled. They see the pass coming. They get the penetration. They get to the quarterback quick. And that's a big sack down near the goal line. Play number 13 coming up on this drive. Mounting a serious drive. A little jumpy there by that defensive front. Just four yards away from the end zone. The long drive continues. Got a little jumpy there, Phil, and that's a five-yarder for encroachment. Yeah, I'd say he was a little bit jumpy, and uh, they've been that way all day long. Quarterback, good job by him taking advantage of it. situations so this time the defensive coordinator sends the blitz and they are up for it they get to the QB and get a sack the kick is good that was a nice long drive by the offense that time and it stalls out but good job by the kicker coming in and putting three points on the board they line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. The Colts offense ready now to see what it can do. What a beating this has been as he comes to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a ninth time today. They are in on right. 
You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. The Colts snap it at the 41, pulls it in. That's a gain of eight. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. That leads us to second down. It's Bernard in the backfield. Get ready. <laughs> Set up screen to Bernard. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. The Colts snap it up at the 26. And he's thrown to the ground. Jim, you can't tell the difference between the quarterback and the center. They're both retreating about as fast as you can go. That time the center gets run over, and it leads to a sack of the QB. This will be second down. They come out in the dime package. Tight end in motion. <laughs> From the shotgun. Here's Rudolph. Rudolph's tackled down at the 29. A player is down on the field, and the training staff comes out, and we'll step aside for just a moment. This is third down. Wide receivers are bunched up. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. And he hauls it in. And he's going to be tackled, but that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Good. Well, it's a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. are set for their next possession. Goodwin's a receiver in the slot. They'll go ground, and they get to him at the 45. If you want to run the football to success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. down coming up coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time tackled just three <laughs> yards short of the first good job that time by the offense power run gets him a few yards After that last carry, it's third and three. Offense lines up here. Third down and three. Handoff. And this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense that time. They diagnosed the running play. They got in the backfield, and they tackled the runner for a loss. The offense still on the field here on fourth down, needing four to stay on the field. The 
Bills snap it at the 41. Another carry here. They'll turn it over on downs. <laughs> well, your team trailing in the second half, and it's fourth down situation. The defense has got to rise up, and they did it that time. They get the play, stop the offense, and they get off the field. The Bills defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dying defense. First down and 10. Throws to the right. Makes the catch inbound. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Looking long. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Well, they're not. That's deep down the middle. The Bills go with the dime formation here on defense from the shotgun. They're going to get him here for a sack. The Colts signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. The defense just falling the quarterback. It'll be third and 16 after the sack. They'll go shotgun here. Still not taken down. Brings it into his body. He's brought to a halt. The Colts will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Long gain sets them up here on this play. Looks like a false start on the offense. First down here. Offense lines up here. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. For a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, <coughs> so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Second and long breaks the tackle. And he's forced to the ground. The Colts have to call one right here, and they do, and they are out of timeouts. One more play, and it's in the books. The Colts have it at the 29. Good defense to deflect the pass and force the incompletion. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. The Colts have it at the 29. Out to the left. Almost intercepted that time. Well, it's a big performance in front of a primetime audience and a sweet victory in the end. Of course, the players are not thinking about the fact that, hey, a lot of people are watching this here today in this game. But when you win, and then you sit back and think everybody was watching this and you played well, boy, that is some great experience. truly was. For Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.